going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. You guys, episode 22 of the Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke playthrough. If you guys are super duper hyped on this series, need you guys to turn up on that like button down below. Show some love right there. Let's see you guys hit 700 likes. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And of course, if you missed the last episode, it's on the annotation of the screen or in the description below. Our question of the day today is who is your favorite or what is your favorite fire type Pokemon? And I think it's time for us to get ready to rock here. We just got our next badge. I did add uh, Goose to the team here. Here. And obviously, you know, the rest of the team hasn't changed and it looks like we got team Olympus in our way here So let's find out it looks like there's a spot for us to stand right here. So let's find out what's going on here uh, What do you want from me? All right, boys, you know the plan Zeus gone up to the mountain and captured the secure Victini for our ultimate plan You all know the plan the one with the Victini and Davis. That's uh, and how we will use them to take over the world. Yeah, of course <laughs> Dave, are you okay? And of course, you know that Zeus isn't too happy with us losing to that kid. He's mad at Apollo and Artemis too. Right. He's pretty scary. <laughs> Dave, seriously, what are you saying? As you know, he already has Shaman, and he secured a method of catching Devavius. If he catches Victini, can you imagine how strong he'll be? He'd be terrifying. I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dave, I... Uh, forget it, Dave. Forget it. So we need insurance. We need a Pokemon that can't be defeated to protect us. But if he has three legendary Pokemon, how could an ordinary Pokemon be able to defeat him? Stop that talk right now. We won't try to defeat Zeus. He is our leader, after all. Then why suggest it? We're only trying to protect ourselves, all right? Not to take down Zeus. That's tra Traitorous tra 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 talk. I don't know how to say that. Who's with me? I. I. I, 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 I. Excellent. I'll meet you at our secret base. Team Olympus, ouch. You didn't hear anything I care about, but I still can't let you go. Tell me, does it smell like chloroform to you? Uh-oh, we're about 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 a- oh boy. We just like teleported. I thought I was gonna battle her and she just like teleported me to their base. We're here to keep you contained. Miss Athena doesn't want you messing around with her plan. You'll never escape. Well, can I just leave? Whoa! Gengar, return! Hey, A-Drive, remember me? Graham, the gym leader. I came here because I heard Team Olympus was planning something in their base. You want to give me a hand? Sure. Awesome. Follow me then. Shadow Sneak was used. Athena and her minions are doing some weird fusion experiment. I'll meet you on the floor where they're doing it, okay? See you in a bit. All right, so you're going to heal me up, right? Okay, so you're going to heal me up. So this is going to be intense, guys. All right, the prisoners escaped. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Right, I guess we're jumping right into things here. No messing around. So he's got a gold bat to start. That's fine. Guacamole. You got this, Guac. You got this. Hit this thing with a rock slide. Air cutter. Eat it up. Nom nom nom. We added- I added Goose to the team, obviously, just to clarify. I do have the experience share on Goose as well, which is pretty nice if you ask me. Let's go for the slash this time. Mean look, so we can't get out of here, but we should be able to knock out the gold bat at least. And that'll make that uh, mean look irrelevant. Yeah, so- so Ghost is gonna take the, uh, the spot that Lucky once held. And I still don't have a six party member, but eventually, hopefully, we'll find something that we really like. Let's go for the home claws. See what he's gonna do. He's gonna go for the mean look again. This home claws will make sure we don't miss our rock slide and hopefully give us enough power to actually just knock out the crowbat with the rock slide. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case, but we're certainly gonna try. He's gonna swift. That's resisted. Steel types are amazing, guys. Seriously, guacamole has a phenomenal typing for this game, and it gives us that electric immunity that we needed. Nice power there. Slash should knock him out unless he roosts. We could eat that, eat up that acrobatics. That's coming from a crowbat too. Alright, so that's gonna knock him out. High crit ratio with Slash 2, which is nice. Uh, so anyway, our question of the day is, what is your favorite fire Pokemon? I don't think I answered that myself. My favorite fire Pokemon, that's actually kind of a tough question. I will say that my favorite fire Pokemon is probably just straight up Charizard, dude, honestly. Charizard's a beast, definitely a really cool Pokemon. So I would say Charizard, OG. Gotta roll with the OG. He's got a freaking Washhog, dude, that's scary. But we're gonna be able to knock him out, and Goose getting some levels. Goose is trying to catch up, wants to learn Revenge. Probably just gonna... T now nah, we're gonna skip revenge honestly there's got to be better moves than revenge I have brick break anyway as a TM so revenge I think it goes second so it's not that great so I don't know which way we're actually supposed to go looks like this guy's gonna battle us anyway how did you escape our top defenses with a shadow sneak dude does Gengar even get shadow sneak I don't even know if it does eradicate all right eradicate I think I just EQ this thing it's gonna super fang that cut, I think that the, either I don't know if Super Fang does half damage or what it does, but that's a little scary. I gotta heal. I gotta use a potion here. As much as I'd rather just fire off an attack, I gotta just to be safe. He's gonna double edge. That did a lot. Was that a crit? It's gonna knock him out either way. So I'll take it. We're gonna knock out the Eradicate. Not too bad at all. 
Get a lot of experience here. Goose is going to gain some experience. Not too shabby. What else we got? We got the Crobat coming in. So we definitely got to heal up or switch. I'm thinking the Super Potion makes the most sense for now. Just to see what he's going to do. I know I could take any hit from a Crobat. Let's go for Acrobatics. Did a lot. And that is a 2 hit KO. So I'm actually going to go for one more Super Potion just to be... Well, it's 2 hit KO with a crit. Let's just make sure we're not going to be in a bad spot here. Let's go for the mean looks. That's perfect. Now I'm thinking about just going for the uh, the home claws. I could take an acrobatics. A crit acrobatics might be enough to knock us out. I don't know if it's worth the risk, but um, I would be devastated if we lost if we lost this Pokemon right now. He goes for air cutter. I know we could take that. Yeah, that's fine. The acrobatics is a little scarier. We're not going to miss the rock slide. We got plus one rock slide. This should knock this thing out. Oh my god, he lives it. He actually lives the hit. I'm going to heal up again with another Super Potion just to be safe. Just to be safe. We got this lady right next to us we can heal with after, but... Swift, yeah, I don't want to take chances. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Guacamole is... is Every member of this team is so incredibly important right now. Yeah, if that's a crit, dude, that's so close to killing us if it's a crit. Alright, we're going to get to level 40 now. Guacamole, all of a sudden, is just top-notch right now. Goose is going to be caught up pretty soon, too. And there's a Bibarel. So Bibarel does have the ability to hit us actually with a uh, water type move. So I'm gonna go to Juliet here. Because I feel like it is Bibarel is water type, I believe. So we can he's got hyper fang. How much is that gonna do? Way more than I wanted. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. He's gonna go for amnesia. That's so good that he didn't just kill us right now, because I would have probably cried. I don't think this is gonna do that much to him. It did enough. Like that did a decent amount. I'm debating on whether it makes more sense for me to just go for a Leech Seed now or to go for the Giga Drain again. Let's go for the Giga Drain. He's got Hyper Fang again. We live it. It does a lot of damage, dude. It does so much damage. It does so much damage. I feel like I got to switch into Prism. I don't want to take a Water move. Let's go to Prism so I can X Scissor. That way I at least resist the Fang. There's the Takedown. I couldn't have done that before. Actually, Takedown might have done more. I don't know. Takedown is pretty strong. That might have killed Juliet if we left it in. Let's go for the X's. This should knock it out. He's got Yawn, so he doesn't show any water moves. So I guess he doesn't even have any water moves. So we would have been okay with Guacamole, but nothing. No harm done there. That was definitely the safest bet to just do what we did. And Goose getting experience. Awesome. All right, let's heal up really quick before we go any further, because this is going to be a journey in half here. So she randomly just has a Pokemon Center right next to her. She just heals up randomly. Thank you for being here, lady. Um, it looks like we can go over here. I don't know what the point of going this way is, but we're going to try it. <sighs> this is a lot of trainers, dude. This is going to be a long battle to get through these people. Venusaur! This dude's got a freaking Venusaur, bro! Let's just Earthquake it. See how much it does. It's neutral. Double Edge. Oh, thank you. This dude's got a Venusaur. He's just like straight up just chilling in here with a Venusaur. I mean, the last gym leader had Mega Scissor. Like, come on. This is getting ridiculous. Goose getting experience. Not bad. Not bad. What else we got? A Charizard. Now, here's the question. Do I stay in against the Charizard? Nah, we gotta go to Cookie. We gotta go to Cookie. We gotta. We just have to. It's not worth the risk. Flame Burst. Eat it up. Nom nom nom. A Rock Slide should kill this thing. Just don't miss. Fire Fang. Don't flinch me, please. Good job, Cook. Not bad. Four times super effective against the Charizard. Take that bad boy down. Gaining some experience. Cook gaining some experience. And Goose all the way up to 29 right now. Goose wants to learn Fall Swipe. Probably going to pass on that again. We need Goose to, like, straight up just catch up right now. Because I need that big, big normal type hitter with Return or something. Let's just see what... There's a Pokeball up here, so at least we're going to get that. Ah, Team Olympus kidnapped him, so he's, like, not happy about that. Yeah, so both of these guys got kidnapped by Team Olympus. I don't think any of these guys are going to battle me. But we got a max Ether. So, actually, I would say that was worth the trainers that we had to face just to get the Ether. I know it's, like, it's a max Ether, so it's, like, not the greatest thing in the world. But at the same time, it's still... It's still... It could be useful. We used one earlier for Rock Slides when we really needed it, so I would say... It could come in handy later on, so we might as well just roll with it. Um, so we're going to just be able to skip past these guys. Here's another trainer. 
The boss has some wacky plan involving fusion Pokemon. I just get paid by the hour, so this guy doesn't even care. He just gets paid by the hour. I'm surprised that these guys actually make money. He's got a Bulldor. It's a little interesting. I feel like Earthquake is just what we need to do. I don't know if we have Mold Breaker. I think we have Sand Rush instead, so this is probably going to live with Sturdy. He does live with Sturdy. That's fine. Just don't use, like, a ground move, please. He's got Power Gem. I'll eat that up, dude. Not even a problem. Let's go for the Slash. All right, Bulldor goes down. Not bad. Bulldor's going to go down. I'll take it. Gonna get some nice experience there. We're gonna go to level 41. Goose gaining some experience. Not too shabby at all. Here comes the Graveler. So same kind of scenario. I feel like I should just go for the Earthquake. If he has a ground move, that could be very problematic for us. I should have thought about that. Please don't use a ground move. Please don't use Earthquake. He's gonna bulldoze. I think we can live it. Yeah, we can live it. I don't know if we're gonna outspeed though. I think we will, but it's not worth the risk. So I'm gonna go into Prism here. Should I go into Prism or Cook? I feel like we should go to Cookie. I just don't want to take a self-destruct, but I feel like Cookie could take one, and we'll outspeed. He's gonna go for Bulldoze again. We can eat that up. I'm just a little worried about the self-destruct. That's what I'm worried about right now, but I feel like we're gonna outspeed and give- Yeah, we got it. It's fine. I just don't want to take any huge risks right now. These five Pokemon on our team are so crucial. Like, losing Lucky last episode was not a good thing. It was not a good thing at all, obviously. But luckily for us, it wasn't, like, it wasn't my fault that we lost it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay if it's not my fault to lose a Pokemon. But, if I just play stupid and lose Pokemon, that's annoying. Okay, so we're gonna heal up here, no problems. And, some more scientists here. Let's just talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Maybe he's gonna give us an item. So he's gonna, yeah, so he's just, he's just forced to work here. They, they're not fans of this. Alright, we're gonna go to the next floor. More trainers, this is, looks like it's gonna be... A pretty long, long building here to get through. It's got Primate. I got a switch. I can't stand on a Primate. We got to swap. Uh, Juliet, probably our best play here. We do resist the fighting type moves. So I'm saying Juliet's our best best bet. It's got Screech. I don't like that at all. I think I should just Giga Drain, though. It's going to Assurance. Gosh, that does so much. We're gonna heal some of it back, but we gotta switch. I can't stay in. I gotta go to Cook, I think. I don't wanna come in on Guac. Prism's okay. We can go to Prism. Cause I can I can take the, the rock move neutral, I believe. So let's go to Prism. Or the I mean the fighting move neutral. Yeah, see that doesn't do anything. It's just because of the screech it did so much. I think an X is will probably knock him out from here. Swagger! Dude, I hate swagger! Everyone in the game uses swagger. Don't hit myself. Okay. Whew. I hate Swagger so much. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Everyone's gaining experience, but the big gain is uh, in Goose right now. Goose trying to get Goose up to like level 40 right now. So, an Ursa Ring. I feel like I should just stay in on the Ursa Ring because, like, honestly, it's going to destroy me. So let's just X Scissor. We're plus two right now. So this should actually kill as long as. Yeah, we snap out of the confusion. Perfect. It doesn't kill. Wow, I'm surprised. He just goes for sweet scent twice. I don't know what's up with that, but that's fine. No complaints here, trust me. No complaints here. Earth Ring's gonna go down. That's a good thing. Our team is like, we have a good team. It's just, we need a sixth Pokemon. That's good. That's the problem right now that we're running into. And we need to not have Pokemon faint. You're not allowed in here. You're just a kid. All right, I'm just trying to find Dave because Dave was laughing up a storm over there. Maybe Dave is, is gonna help us out. Nine Tails. Oh. Do I stay in on Nine Tails to take a fire move? Then we gotta go to Cook. We gotta go to Cook. Cook putting in the work right now. Ember. Oh, we could have eaten that up. We could have eaten that up in Earthquake, but that's alright. Um, I wonder if Rock Slide or Surf is better. We're gonna go for Surf. I think Rock Slide might have been better. We'll go for Surf. Just because I don't want to miss. I feel like it'll be a 2 a KO. Yep, that's fine. I don't think Rock Slide would have killed anyway because it's not stabbed, so we'll just keep hitting him with Surf. Hopefully we'll get Crab Hammer soon because honestly, like, Cook will be so much better once it gets Crab Hammer or Waterfall. Actually, I'm going to probably get Waterfall pretty soon, so that'll be really good. We can get we can get Waterfall on this thing, and he's going to be really good, dude. It's going to be really good. I'm excited for that because we just got the uh, the ability to use Waterfall on the last ep like on the last episode by beating the Gym Leader, so that means Waterfall's got to be right around the corner. All right, Pidgeot. Of course. 
Alright, I think I could just rock slide. I'm, I'm actually confused still, though. We hurt ourselves in confusion. That shouldn't do too bad, though. Twister. That's fine. All right, I'm thinking we gotta just rock slide. Snap out of- there you go, Cook. Not bad, dude. We miss. You miss, though. You miss. What are you missing for? You're supposed to hit him. Wing attack. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch. Nah, you know what? Let's just rock slide. We'll, kill. we'll hit him. We'll hit him twice. There you go. I can eat up these wing attacks, though. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We have speed, too. We actually have speed. And it doesn't have safeguard. That doesn't matter. We hit the rock slide. Perfect. Good job, dude. Good job. Each of these trainers is so tough. Like, we're so, like, we're right around where the levels that they are. So it makes every mat match matter because we got to be, like, really careful about, you know, which matchups we use and stuff like that. I'm running out of potions, too. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Keep the hype up here. Where are you at, dude? This guy's guarding a Pokeball. We got to get it. I sent it to you to the Shadow Realm, Yugi Moto. Uh, if you guys never watch Yu-Gi-Oh, I was actually huge into Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh for a little bit, because that's actually a cool topic. So, I was huge into Yu-Gi-Oh, guys, when I was younger. Uh, basically, I was so big into Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys probably don't even believe me, but I was on a sponsored Yu-Gi-Oh team when I was younger. Uh, when I was like 13, 14 years old, I was on a sponsored Yu-Gi-Oh team. And basically, uh, what we did was we would travel to events and play. It was on a team called Team Rampage, and the guy who led the team was named John LeBounty. I believe his name was Jonathan LeBounty. I think that was his name. Uh, there was another kid named Chris Ivan Flores on the team. Both of those kids were absolute legends when it came to Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, John LeBounty actually made it to Nationals and made it to Worlds, I believe, in Anaheim in like two, like 2003. Who knows even how long, like... And the dude came in like top five. He was top five of like the, the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in the world. He came in top five. And then this other dude, Chris Flores, uh, Chris Ivan Flores, he came in um, first place at Shonen Jump Championships in Durham, North Carolina. And that was back in the, oh dude, Swords Dance? Do I think Swords Dance is better than Home Claws? I do, I do, I do. Because Rock Slide could miss, but I think that extra power is worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, so he won Shonen Jump Championships way back in the day. And I know this is like, I'm giving you creds for people on my team. That doesn't mean anything about how good I was, but I was pretty good. I was pretty decent at Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger. And I was like 13, 14, 15. So I was a young lad, but I was pretty decent at it. But these kids were great. They were, they were like in their late teens, early twenties, all these kids. And they were really, really good. And winning Shonen Jump Championships at the time, you win like a good amount of money. And I believe he won. And I just learned the Swords Dance team. How funny is that? Uh, you actually, I believe at the time he actually won uh, the Cyberstein card, like the legit Cyberstein card when it first came out. And I believe it was worth like a crazy, like I'm talking like five grand, maybe even more. It was worth a lot of money at the time. And uh, I remember he won that and that was really sick to be on a team with kids like that. I was also on another team called Team Discharge. I know that's a Pokemon move, but uh, that was before I really played. I mean, I still play Pokemon, but that was, yeah, man, I, I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I played at the regional tournaments. I would go to the regionals and stuff like that and compete. And uh, I remember the deck, I, I, I ran a lot of different decks. I remember the Yadagarasu deck with Chaos Emperor Dragon, um, which eventually got banned, I think. Um, I remember doing, um, one of the decks I remember, I remember going to regionals with this deck, and it was actually really cool. It was, um, it was a deck with Nimble Momonga. It was like this little flying rodent thingy, and you gained a thousand experience every, or a thousand life points, whatever, every time. Uh, it got killed or something, if I remember correctly. And I used giant rats and stuff to help me like filter through my deck. And I would just go through the deck really fast. And it was it was a cool deck, man. It was a cool deck. That's the one deck I that was like the last time I remember really playing was with that deck. So that's why it's what comes to mind. That's did a lot of damage. Um so that's what I remember the most from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! the last time I played it, but um, I haven't played it since a long time. The last thing I really remember, I remember they came out with the gadgets, like the red gadget, yellow gadget, green gadget. That was the longest, that was the last time I played. So it's been a long, long time since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't foresee myself ever getting back into it, to be honest. That was a long time ago, but it was fun when I did it. I love that game. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, but again, I just don't see myself doing it again, you know? But it was fun while it lasted. Amoongus. What do I do to Am Amoongus? Can you leech seed grass types in this game? I have no idea. I'm thinking we should go into prism here just because I could hit him pretty hard or guacamole with the earthquake. Let's go to guac because I can resist the, the poison types or immune. He goes for sweet scent. Dude, this Amoongus probably doesn't smell that sweet, I'm going to be honest. Let's go for that big, uh, let's go for that swords dance earthquake. Get that boost, baby. Let's go for giga drain. How much does this do? 
That did a lot. It did a lot, but I'm pretty sure an earthquake will kill from here. Uh, just because we are plus two. Amoongus is bulky, but I don't know if it's that bulky. No, it is not that bulky. Guacamole! Dude, Swords Dance on Guacamole is insane. It's insane. And Goose is starting to catch up. Goose is in the low 30s right now. Hopefully we'll get Goose leveled up enough. Let me use another one of these potions, I'm thinking. We don't have that many. We'll get Guac back up here. Goose is 33, so starting to catch up a little bit. Lots of trainers, dude. There's two different things over here, two different staircases. We'll take on this guy first, because I gotta face him anyway, so. The Master Ball's in one area, and Athena's thing is, so we gotta get the Master Ball. That's what we just found out. The Master Ball is here. So we gotta get the Master Ball out of this place. He's got a Deli, dude, a Deli Bird? What? What you got a Deli Bird for? You died to Rock Slide. Goodbye, Deli Bird. Sorry, Shady. I'll see you later, buddy. That's it for the Deli Bird, dude. Goodbye. Get some experience. All right, all right. What else you got? Hopefully it's as weak as Deli Bird. Dunsparce. Oh boy. I think we should just hit that SD, baby. We can't get we can't get paralyzed. Double edge. I'll eat this up. Not even a problem. Let's hit him with that earthquake. And he's got the recoil. Yeah, we're we're gonna knock this thing out with earthquake. Yo, honestly, guys, I'm so excited about Guacamole right now. If Guacamole were to go down, I would probably cry. I'd probably cry. Although I was excited about Lucky too, but what are you gonna do? I'm just trying to get this thing bulk, dude. 43, we're gonna keep going. Stun Fist. This thing just dies to Earthquake. Bye bye, Stun Fist. All right, I'm thinking I should switch it a little bit, a little bit around here. Might get, uh, might try to get Prism some action maybe. Cause Prism's pretty good too. Against a lot of these Pokemon. I'm debating. Where's my team looking at? We're at level 41, 39, 43. He is the highest level Pokemon, so let's take the item from him. Let's switch him around. Let's get uh, let's get Cook some action here. Let's get Cook some action. Let's take his item as well. Let's give him the, the uh, Lucky Egg. I think he can handle things. He's been doing pretty good. I think Cookie's ready to get some action here. Give him the Lucky Egg. And we'll just give him the leftovers for now. Alright, so we gotta find two different rooms. We gotta find the Master Ball room. Look at how he follows us. All right, there's three freaking staircases, dude. This is another trainer here. I don't know which way to go. Let's go this way. Our plans are top secret, no kids allowed. All right, so there's three different ways we have to go. We might have to backtrack a little bit here. Togetic, of course. You're gonna rub it in my face and show me lucky right now. It's just rock slide. I did a good amount. And we flinch. I'm just gonna rock slide again. And we miss! Why did we miss? We we're supposed to hit it. Wish. Alright, we need to not we need to kill him this time. Thank you. Get rid of that wish. So Cook put in the work right there, knocking him out. I'll take it. Getting some experience. Growing a 41. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. What else you got? Metacham. That's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. He's gonna get the wish, but it's useless. Who do I think should I just stay in here and surf, maybe? Guillotine's too risky. I gotta surf. We'll see what he's gonna do. If he's huge power, this is a problem. I have nothing to switch in on this thing, so. Acupressure. Raise the- Oh, God. We're done. We're done. I have nothing. I have nothing for this thing. I gotta get a flinch with the rock slide. Flinch. Acupressure. His accuracy rose. Oh, my God. If he attacks me, something's dead. I'm gonna try to get the flinch with stomp. Flinch! Oh my god, we got the flinch! Oh my god, that was... Oh my god. If that's huge power Metacham, it would have swept our team right there. It would have destroyed us. Because it was plus two attack, plus two accuracy. It wasn't missing a hit. We were done. That flinch was huge. In comes the Slow King. Jesus, man, leave me alone with these Pokemon. I can't go into Juliet, because I'm, I'm weak. I, I gotta leave Cookie in here and just stomp, I guess. What else do I do? Rock Slide, maybe? Try to get a flinch? Does nothing. We got the flinch, though. We're gonna stomp now. Try to get another flinch. Another flinch. Yeah, Cook. Keep it up, buddy. Cook, do your thing, dude. The flinch king, Cook! Oh, my God. Oh, my God! The flinch king! Dude, not only is he a king crab, he is the flinch king, Cook. Make it known, ladies and gentlemen. Make it known. The flinch king, Cook, in the house. Saving it. Oh my goodness, that was not fun. Alright, so we came from there, I believe. So we gotta go this way. They're eating dinner in here. They're eating some dinner. I found leftovers! Yo, who? K 
Can I just evaluate the fact that I just randomly clicked on that and got leftovers? That was sick. Athena said I'm gonna be fired. I'm just drinking my feelings away. It's gonna be okay, dude. Ha, you got fired. Screw you too. I guess I won't tell you my life story. No, tell me your life story, dude. I know. Can I tell you my life story? Sure. I grew up in a small town in Vesser, and nobody knew who I was until I met Professor Oak. Shall I continue? Sure. He offered me a Pokemon to go on an adventure, but I arrived too late. I got the fourth Pokemon, a disobedient electric one. We eventually bonded, but it took a long time. Shall I continue? Sure. We fought many enemies together. We rescued legendary Pokemon, even see all myths called them true. This guy is Ash! I even fell in love with a girl, a water-type gym leader with a Starmory. We eventually got married and had a kid. We fell in hard times and got divorced, and I joined Team Olympus to make ends meet. Do you know who I am? What's the first letter of my name? Ash. Do you know who I am then? What's the second letter of my name? S. What's the last letter of my name? Oh, I messed up. Wait, I hit the wrong button. No, I wasn't. I messed up. No, dude, I accidentally clicked the button too fast. You're really not going to talk to me now? I knew you were Ash, dude. No. No, please talk to me again. Please. I just butchered that so bad, dude. Please lead me to my drinking. No. Hey, drive. What are you doing? Oh. Who knows what he he was gonna give me something, dude. He was gonna give me something. He probably would have given me his Pikachu. Alright, well anyway, here's a gold duck. This gold duck looks really weird. Let's just let's flinch him to death. Soak! I'm already water type, dude. What are you doing? Rookie. Rookie. Flinch, baby! Dude, cook. I'm loving this. Aqua tail, watch me eat this up. I'm not not. I knew your name was Ash, too. That was so stupid. I just pressed the button too quick. I had so many, like, fails in this game like that. <laughs> uh, what else you got? An x -bloud. Oh, God, that's scary. Let's go for the stomp. We outspeed. Hopefully, we can get a flinch. Screech! E. What do I do? Do I switch? Yeah, let's go to Prism. Let's go to Prism to be safe. Supersonic to confuse us. Okay. Pretty sure I could take a hit though. Let's go for X Scissor. Crunch. It's good that we switched on that Screech. Of course we hit ourselves a confusion. Of course we do. It's like the story of my life in this playthrough. Come on, buddy. X Scissor. Screech again. He misses. Good. Hit him this time. Snaps out of confusion. That's what I'm talking about, Prism. It's the hustle we need right now. You are what we need right now, Prism. Do your thing, dude. Screech, you miss again. You can't hit me, bro. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Not bad. Not bad, dude. Cook, Prism, all them putting in the work. Goose, getting some levels. I'm getting experience. I couldn't beat you. Well, because you're bad, dude. More scientists up here. There's like a glitch right now, but that's okay. You, you can save us. Please help us from Team Olympus. I'm trying, dude. Oh, uh, there's another trainer. I don't know if this is the right way to go. I don't want to go the wrong way. Let's take on this trainer first, I suppose. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Stop, collaborate, and listen. I don't know the words, so I'm gonna get, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Here comes Vaporeon, does it have a ice move? No idea, let's stomp it to find out. Acid armor, oof. I'm gonna try to hit the guillotine right now. Let's make it happen. You missed, Cook. You missed, bud. Haze. Thank you for that, I guess. I appreciate it. I don't know why you did that. Hit him with that stomp, baby. Acid armor again. All right. Um, I can't surf. I can just keep stomping, but, like, it's not going to do that much. Haze. Dude, you're awesome. You're just helping me out right now. I don't think this dude realizes he's just helping me out. And the fl flinch. I hiccuped. My bad. I doubt he has water absorb, but I'm not taking chances. Cookie in a boost, 1651. Getting some levels, not bad. Goose wants to learn X Scissor, but Goose cannot. I mean, we already have the TM, but we might as well just teach it to him. What else has he got? Quick Attack, Swords Dance. We'll give it a Quick Attack, because I feel like I feel like X Scissor is okay. I mean, Brick Break is probably better, but X Scissor could be good for Psychic types. All right, what else we got? Jolteon, this guy, I know what this guy's got. We got to switch into the Guac. Bring in Guac -a, Guac -a Flocka, baby. Bring in the Guac. Discharge. Nom nom nom. Can't touch me. Can't touch this. Getting the lefties. Oh, dude. Guac. Hit him with that EQ. Boom! Shake that ground. Yeah, that's it for you, Jolteon. I'll see you later. Avita Zane. 
Not bad, Quack. Not bad. Goose gain experience? I love it. I love it a lot. Flareon. Now here's the question. Do I think I can outspeed the Flareon and kill it? I do. I hit it with an earthquake. This should kill it. There's no doubt. Whew. I did not want to risk switching there because Flareon already killed one Pokemon. If you guys recall. <laughs> I'm not messing around with Flareon. Okay. So I don't think I should go the next way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and heal up my Pokemon at that little nurse from way back in the day. And we are going to have to explore a little bit because there's a couple areas we need to get to. And I haven't quite figured out where we're supposed to go yet. But this uh, this is going to be... This is gonna be intense, man. We got we got uh, a big big building to get through here, guys. But um, let's go heal up really quick, and then we're gonna call it a day here. So don't forget our question of the day: What is your favorite fire type Pokemon, guys? Please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. And do not forget to show your love and on that like button down below as well. It definitely needs your support, guys. If you guys could show some love, make sure you guys flinch it with that stomp like my homie Cuckoo has been doing. And that's gonna be it for me, guys, on this episode. I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. My name is Dan. I'll go by A Drive. Uh, peace.